The whole central prison's last transfer saw about 40 inmates packed in a 214-seater commercial vehicle together with warden officers. Prison authorities lament that the arrangement poses great challenge to them. These two Mahindra pickups that have been serving the prison have completely broken down and out of use for close to two years. Speaking to Joy News, the commander of the prison, DDP Victor Agbelengo, explained that they tried to maintain and keep the vehicles on the road until the vehicles broke down completely. He added that running the prison without vehicles is quite terrible. I tell you, the service, the prison service has been commended over the years for the ability to maintain its vehicles. These vehicles came at a time when other institutions have been given the vehicle. But it is only with the prison service that you can see most of these vehicles still on the road. We have done our best to maintain all these vehicles all along. But it has gotten to a point that you can no longer maintain them. And that is why they are, they are grounded. But we have done a lot to maintain vehicles. And I know people can attest to it that we have been able to maintain our vehicles for this period. And when it gets to a point, it gets beyond repairs, there is nothing you can do about it again. Fortunately, government has presented a 30-seater Nissan bus to the male cells and a Nissan saloon car to the female cells of the whole central prison. The facility has also received a motorbike. That notwithstanding, DDP Victor Agbelengo says the command still needs more vehicles. We don't have a, I don't have a command vehicle. So, in fact, at times going on certain things is quite challenging. But there is the assurance or there is the information that government wants to still give us vehicles. So, we expect that when such issues come up, they will give us a vehicle, a, a command vehicle. And we also want uh, something like a pickup to facilitate in the conveyance of uh, uh, for short distances. And then if the number of the prisoners is not quite high, we can use that one to convey them. I must personally commend government, the service council, eh, for the way they have handled our issues. In fact, they've done, done a lot for us by making sure that at least we get this fleet of vehicles that have come into the system right now for us to be able to operate and to manage issues. And so we want to appreciate them and want to appreciate the current crop of directorates for the way they are going about the things, the way they are handling situations. The situation is not different at the Pandu and Kitekrachi prisons where authorities have challenges with the unavailability of vehicles. Fred Kwame Saris report from Volta Region.